I'm Captain George Mitchell, and this is Coastal Chaos. Man, oh man, is that a pretty sight. Hi folks, I'm Captain George Mitchell, and boy do I love a great live well full of bait. You know folks, there's a little bit of an art to catching bait, and there's a little bit of tackle involved. As you can see, I got a whole bunch of different sabikis as well as de-hookers, but really only three different rod setups. I'm gonna share some tips with you. First, let's start with the tackle. I like to use a 12 to 15 pound, six foot or longer spinning rod when targeting smaller baits like herring, pilchards, and sardines. This is gonna be best with a four or six sabiki. You know, for bigger baits like blue runners and goggle eyes, you gotta step up your game. For those, I've got a 5500 loaded with 30 pound camo braid, and I'm using a slightly bigger sabiki. Bait fish are best if they're caught quickly and de-hooked without being touched and kept in a free flowing bait well. It's best to use a de-hooker when releasing the baits to the live well, but the right de-hooker makes a big difference. Smaller wire de-hookers work best on the number two to number six sabikis while a medium wire is fine for the size six to 10 sabikis. But bigger rigs like this double runner or mackerel rig require a much stouter de-hooker. Bigger baits take longer to reel in, so you might wanna let them recover a little bit in the bait well before you put them right back out. When multiple guys are catching bait, it's helpful to start with two slightly different rigs. Start with what you think will work, but don't be shy about experimenting. Remember folks, details matter. Lively fresh baits are the way to go. Coastal Chaos, tips for serious saltwater anglers.